big finger thing that we can eat. We have to put everything inside this pot. One cup of corn flour. Six tablespoons of sugar. Now what do you think the sugar is going to do to this mixture? It's going to make it sweet. You sure it's not going to make it sour? No. What other things are sweet that you like to eat? Uh, sweet peas. <laughs> Four cups of water. Mix, 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 mix. It starts off sticky, but it will get easier. Adding a teaspoon of salt. So we'll try that one out today. Would you like to come pop it in? Yes. The oven's not on right now, so you're safe. Okay. Can burn you, so we must be very careful. Now all we do eat is just stir it. I'm not good. You can try. I'm here to help you. And we keep whisking until it's nice and thick. Is it thick now? Is it thick now? Is it thick now? Is it thick now? No, look, 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 what's happening? Maggie, come stand to mommy's other side. What's happening here? Can you No, stir it quickly, we don't want it to burn. Oh, it looks like icy. It's gotten what? Sticky. Sticky and very, very? Very hot and very, Whoa. very thick. So you must be careful that this doesn't go on your skin because if it goes on your skin, it'll be like hot, sticky, it won't be like caramel. It really will be very sore if it lands on your skin. So you must take care here and it's best to let it cool down completely. The best angle, but here you can see how nice and thick and sticky it's actually become. Very smooth, very shiny, and very hot. How are you organizing your colors there, Eva? Okay. I like this. Okay. Now, when you pour in, it must just be a little drop. I recommend putting out three primary colors and then allowing them to mix the primary colors to see what secondary colors they can make. I didn't use the three primary colours this day, but Eli did want to make his own shade of green with the blue and the orange that we had. The idea is to get them to use their fingers because sensory integration into their play and their art is so important. But some children need it to be done slowly. As you can see, my son was only happy to use the fork at first. Look at my hand, it's so cool. I want to play my bird. 
In the beginning, he licked his fingers or wiped them with the cloth whenever he felt like they were too dirty. I allowed him to do that, to make the transition from clean to dirty easier. But by the end of this exercise, he was all in. Look what he does when he sees that his fingers are dirty. He tries to wipe them off on the page. He tries to wipe them off on each other. Eventually, he gets most of it off and then he carries on. I put the cloth next to him so that he felt like he could wipe his hands whenever he needed to and with that little security blanket within reach he actually stopped wiping his hands so much. That now looks amazing Eli. Whoa! Whoa. Can you see? And you, Logie? Yeah, that really is beautiful, Ronnie. The stuff is on the floor, E. Mom, you know what's cool? Is once you let this stuff dry on your page, well, sit on your page for a while, once you take your, if you take your hand and like do that, then it's still there. And if you want to, if you made a mistake, like you can draw in it and you so can, really if you made a mistake, it's easy. Long after her little brothers had left, my daughter was still busy painting her bird and having some fun. I don't think that we give the older children enough time to explore with messy play. Here my oldest son Logan was pretending to be a frog. He said his hands were stuck to the paper and he looked like a frog. So he was hopping around on the floor like a frog. We left the finger paint overnight and it got really thick and the next day Eli was able to use it to create little 3D shapes and objects. So he was making sushi and um, as you can see he has really gone from hating the messy hands to loving them and that was in 24 hours. Mash it, mash it, mash it together. Mash it, mash it together. Mash it, mash it, mash it together. Mash it, mash it, mash it together. Mash it, mash it, mash it together.